wearing skinny jeans is banned. Our grandma on mother's side and grandpa on father's side, they are from North, North Korea. Korea. 이게 미기야. 내래 연우기 아니네. In contrast, North Korea has to go to military services for how long? Da -da -da -da. Hi, hi, hi! Hello everybody, this is Gina Choi, Nina Choi, Brown Choi Sisters. Today we're going to talk about differences and similarities between North and South Korea. Are they same country? One Korea, isn't it? Uh-uh, a lot of people think that they are same country, mm -hmm. but they're polar opposite. Polar opposites. Actually, they are still on a war. What? Are you serious? Yes, they are. Have you heard of DMZ? Uh-huh, DMZ is an abbreviation of Demilitarized Zone. And that zone is the heavily guarded place in the world. Uh -huh. Since the war is still going on. And currently, they're under a ceasefire. Uh-huh, so they're on a break. Exactly. Before we go on to the similarities and differences, mm -hmm. what is the image people think of when they hear North Korea? Usually, they think of Kim Jong-un, the Kim Jong -un. dictator. Yes, Kim Jong-un is the dictator of North Korea. So, what's the image of South Korea? People usually think of K-pop. There are BTS, Blackpink, GOT7, Seven. Yeah, Seventeen, blah blah blah. Right, there are so many K-pop singers. But have you heard that our grandma on mother's side and Grandpa on father's side, they are from North, North Korea. Korea. <laughs> they are not North Koreans, but when there was Korean War, people actually moved from North Korea to South Korea and South Korea to North Korea. Right, and our grandma from my mom's side and grandpa from dad's side, mm -hmm. they came from the North Korea. Mm -hmm. So technically, they are not North Koreans. They're, they just came from North Korea and moved to South Korea. Exactly. So let's talk about four similarities and six differences between North Korea and South Korea. Ready? Go! Let's talk about similarities. Okay, number one, the same cuisine. Okay, so cuisine, what kind of food? We love kimchi, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, not only South Koreans, but also North Koreans love kimchi as well. Yeah, if you go to North Korea, if you ever have any chance, we've heard that the menu at the restaurants are very similar to South Korean restaurants. Mm -hmm. So Mina, what are the food that also exist in North Korea and South Korea? Kimchi, naengmyeon, bibimbap, bulgogi, Etc. Etc. Et any other food, they very much have the similar menu. And about kimchi, North Korea and South Korea, they both have a lot of kimchi. Lot, lot of, lot of kimchi. Right. Yeolmu kimchi, chongga kimchi, gachi kimchi, and like pa kimchi, etc. Oi kimchi. Yeah. So many different kinds of kimchi there. Not only that, uh -huh. you know what banchan is? Banchan is the side dish that we eat along with rice. Uh-huh. Pantan, pantan, pantan. Side dish in Korea. North and South, they both have a lot of pantans. A lot of pantan menus and they both have the similar side dishes. Mm -hmm. Such as keranmari, keranjim, and konamul, kongjaban. So many side dishes. And they so basically they eat the same side dishes with rice. rice. Number two, elderly. What's about elderly? Elderly, Koreans, so both North Koreans and South Koreans, they are very polite to elderly. For example, they vow to show appreciation whenever they feel thank you, sorry, mm -hmm. or they if they want to just say bye or hi. Mm -hmm. We believe that it's an action we need to do in order to be polite and to show appreciation, especially to elderly. Yeah? So Mina, why do North Korea and South Korea both have a similar culture to elderly? They have similar culture to elderly because they are both rooted to Confucianism. Right, their culture is very much influenced by Confucianism. Mm -hmm. Yugyo Muna. Yugyo Muna. Yep. Yep. Number three. They both have same holidays. Yes, what kind of holidays? Number one, uh -huh. New Year's Day, we call it 설날. Number two, we call Thanksgiving Day 추석. And North Korea and South Korea, we both have holidays on 설날 and 추석 and other holidays we have. Yes. Not exactly the same, but similar holidays. Mm -hmm. And what are the other holidays that are meaningful? 
such as Gwangbukjeol. Gwangbukjeol is Independence Day in Korea. Uh -huh. And what does that mean? We got independent from Japan. We got independent and free from Japan on 1945, mm -hmm. August 15th. And yes. we call that Gwangbukjeol, Independence Day. And Gina, yes. did you know that North and South Korea both celebrate Lunar and Solar New Year's Day? Really? Yes. So they both celebrate Lunar and Solar New Year's Day, so they have two New Year's Day in one year. Mm -hmm. So pretty much South and North Korea, they have similar holidays. Exactly. Number four. Have you ever heard that South Korea has four weathers? Spring, summer, fall, winter. We call it four weather. 사계절. 사계절. What about North Korea? North Korea also has four weather. 사계절. Mm -hmm. 사계절. Why do they have similar 사계절, the four weathers? Duh. 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 Because <laughs> they are on a similar latitude. Exactly. So it's a common sense. They obviously have a similar four weathers. But North Korea is a little bit, a little bit more cold because they're right. on, you know, north. north and South Korea is on the south. Mm -hmm. Because they have similar four weathers, how we wear clothes are similar. But the style is a little bit different, so we'll talk about the differences soon. Great. Right. So in conclusion, they both have four weathers. Spring, boom, summer, yarim, fall, kaul, winter, kyaul. That's it! So Mina, let's uh -huh. talk about differences between South Korea and North Korea. There are a lot, right? Yes, yes. Number one is political and government system is totally different. Different, very, very different. Mm -hmm. About South Korea, it is a capitalistic and democratic society run by president. President Moon Jae-in right now. Right. However, North Korea is communist country. Right. So they are run by Hermit Kingdom. And currently the dictator is, as you know, Kim Jong-un. Back in old days, the dictators were different, right? Yes, Kim Jong-un's father is Kim Jong-il. Kim Jong-il's father was, the Kim Jong-un's grandpa, is Kim Il-sung. Those were the dictators of North Korea. So that's why South Korea is more focused on individual, mm -hmm. and North Korea is more focused on group. Yeah? Okay, so let's move on to number two, two, which is they have different economy. Right, their economic system is totally different. So number one about South Korea. South Korea is world's 12th biggest economy. You know, Samsung, LG, Hyundai, and what else? Kia, uh, KD, <laughs> and etc. There are so many groups that are leading South Korea to the world's economy. However, North uh -huh. Korea's GDP per capita ranks 179. Right. So there is a very big difference uh -huh. in terms of economy as well, yep, right? Yeah. And as you can imagine, that makes the lifestyle of North Korean and South Korean a little bit different, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Number three, they have different military system. Totally different. Very, very different. Yes. About South Korea first, right. they go to military for 18 months. Right, 18 months, and it is mandatory for all healthy guys who are older than 18. So they get a physical test when they become 19 years old mm -hmm. and they start to serve the military service from when they are 20 years old. Yeah. But in contrast, North Korea has to go to military services for how long? <laughs> da, 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 da. 10 <laughs> years! 10 years, it's not 10 months, it's 10 years. Wow. So there's a big, big difference, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I heard that there are people who are very surprised to hear how South Koreans have to go to military services. It's not voluntary, it's mandatory, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. South Koreans are mandatory, but North Korea have 10 years. So for example, if they enter military <laughs> when they're 20, they get out of military when they're 30. 30. So they might not be able to see family members for 10, for 10 years. years. Obviously, I don't know uh, the specific military rules, but that's quite long. Yes, that yes. is a long, long time. Right. 
Number four. It's about Western influence. So for about South Korea, they mm -hmm. are a consumer-driven society. <laughs> right. So they make their products, so South Koreans make products and export to imports. imports. And that's why they are heavily influenced by the Western culture. Mm -hmm. However, North Korea does not trade. That's why the influence of Western countries doesn't exist. For example, Mina, have you seen any signs in South Korea that are in English? Yes, of course. I think like 60 per more than 60 percent of the signs are in English. Mm -hmm. But in North Korea, not at all. Not, not at a all. single sign is in English. If they were to use English, they are written in Korean, and the pronunciation is a little bit similar to English, but not a single one, I think. However, South Koreans, as you know, right? K-pop. Just by looking at K-pop stars, they are very good at speaking English, right? For example, right. BTS, Rat Monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually read the UN speech in English. And for example, like Tiffany Young from Sonyashide. Right. The Girls' Generation. Generation. Jessica, Tiffany. They're all very good at speaking English. Right. And not only that, since South Korean children go to Western countries to learn English a lot these days, mm -hmm. there are a lot of people who speak English. Normally, yeah. right? Uh huh. So South Korea is heavily influenced by Western countries compared to North Korea. Number five, different fashion styles. Yay! So for South Koreans, they can wear anything. They have freedom to wear everything they want. Mini skirt is okay. Short sleeve shirt. Right. Tank top. Everything is okay. Mm hmm. Just by looking at K-pop stars. You know, they express themselves a lot through fashion. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But in contrast, North Koreans cannot wear what they want. Usually, they only wear solid colors. And wearing skinny jeans is banned. Not only skinny jeans, but also mini skirt is banned too. And they usually wear only black and white. That's why the fashion styles between South Koreans and North Koreans are very, very different. Mm -hmm. However, back in old days when we were not, not even when we were born, right? But back in old days, it was long, long times ago. It was about 60s and 70s. South Koreans also had to wear specific clothes and we had to follow the rules that were set by the government. Mm -hmm. For example, we couldn't wear a skirt that is shorter than knees. our knees. Yeah. So police officers, they had rulers and they measured the skirt, the length of the skirt. Right. But actually, we don't know how they did it because we weren't born. Mm -hmm. We were not even a baby. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we don't really know about how they've done it before. But if you watch the K-dramas, you can probably see how it was like back in the days. Number six. Connection to the world. So right. for example, South Korea is connected to everywhere. So right. They can do SNS and YouTube, of course. Internet is allowed, Gmail, mm -hmm. anything. Right? Anything, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, Wi-Fi connection is like number one in the world. Yes, it's the best. So I heard that a lot of tourists love coming to Korea because right. of the internet, the Wi-Fi. So fast. And the transportation, public transportation. But North Korea is very isolated. Mm -hmm. They do not want to be connected with the world. So obviously they cannot do YouTube, mm -hmm. as you know, and they are not allowed to do SNS. So yeah. Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and etc. So the connection to the world is very, very low, and the Wi-Fi connection is obviously not in a good condition. So that's why North and South Korea have evolved in different ways. Right, exactly. So, did you guys enjoy our videos? The four similarities and six differences between North Korea and South Korea. So these are not everything about North Korea and South Korea, but we wanted to pick the main similarities and differences that you might want to know mm -hmm. in order to know the differences between North and South Korea. Exactly. And by the way, we are from South Korea and that's why we're doing YouTube. So if you have any questions about North Korea and South Korea, please leave a comment under here. If you liked our video, please press like and subscribe and please turn on your alarm button on, please. And share with your families and friends. Right. Have a nice day. We'll come back with better videos that are useful and entertaining at the same time. <laughs> Make choices your choice. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Now in North Korean, then it I got take good and go, Dine. Amata, Mati, it's Mati.
아 맞디? 으이구 날래 날래 가져오라우 오케이 세컨 시나리오 어 아주머니 안녕하세요 어머 이게 누구야 너 연우지? 밖에서 보니까 못 알아보겠다 근데 여기 어쩐 일이야? 아, 동생이랑 책 사러 왔어요 어 연우 다 컸네 집에 갈때 차조심하고 네 안녕히 가세요 Now in North Korean version 어 아주머니 안녕하십니까 이게 네 얘기야 네래 연우기 아니네 밖에서 보니 기 니. 밖에서 보니 기 니. <웃음> 밖에서 보니 기 니. 못 알아봐겠구만. 여긴 어쩐 일이네. 동생이랑 책 사러 왔습니다. 연우 다 컸네. 집에 갈때자 조심하라우. 네, 아주머니. 기름 안녕히 가시나요. <웃음> That's how North Korean language and South Korean language are different. <웃음> We understand both, but We don't understand sometimes. <laughs> yes. Bye bye. Bye.